five, four, three, two, one, go. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey, space enthusiasts. Did you ever wonder what the experience of flying on Blue Origin's suborbital New Shepard flights is like? I certainly have. So I invited one of their recent crew members, Victor Hispania from Brazil, onto the podcast. He was kind enough to go through the entire experience before, during, and after a flight in great detail. You get a really good sense of what the experience is like, so don't miss it. Please do note that English is not Victor's first language, and he is currently still learning it. He was really kind to speak to us anyway and get out of his language comfort zone. So please keep that in mind when he's occasionally searching for the right word. Enjoy. My name is Raphael Rodkin and I'm an investor and advisor to space companies. Just as a reminder, this podcast is for informational purposes only and nothing should be taken as investment advice. This podcast is sponsored by Nanoavionics, a satellite manufacturer and mission integrator. Their technologies enable many space companies worldwide to offer services that improve life right here on Earth, such as providing global connectivity, conducting Earth observation, or contributing to scientific discoveries. Check them out, and also check out my episode with the CEO and co-founder. Sadly, I am not a rocket scientist, but I'm an alumnus of the International Space University. ISU offers a number of educational programs about space worldwide. Check them out at isunet.edu. And just some final things before we start the episode about ourselves. If you enjoy the podcast, please leave us a five-star rating on your favorite podcast platform, such as Apple or Spotify. If you want us to help expand our work, you can do so and support us at www.patreon.com forward slash space business podcast. And we'll also put that link in the episode notes. And lastly, you can follow us on Twitter at podcast underscore space. Hey, welcome back, space enthusiasts. Time for another episode of the Space Business Podcast. And in taking with what seems to be a current theme of ours, I have yet another private space explorer on the podcast, Victor Hispania from Brazil. Welcome, Victor. Oh, thank you, Hoppa, so much. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure for me. No, and it's it's our pleasure because, you know, on the podcast, it has grown quite a bit the last two years since we started. And so we have listeners in over 100 countries worldwide now, but it's actually a, a large listenership. It's definitely a top 10 country um, in Brazil. So I hope that our Brazilian listeners will also identify, you know, since since, since you're from, from Brazil. Yeah. But as I mentioned, you are a private space explorer. Some of the listeners who are very hardcore space people and accompany all the news, they may be aware, others may, may not be. Do you want to tell us how you went to space? Yes, of course. I, I, I bought, uh, I invest uh, in NFTs from a, a crypto space agency. It's an mm -hmm. uh, agency focused on a Web3 platform. And they they bought uh, a seat on New Shepard vehicle from Blue Origin. And they made a, a sweepstake for our community and mm -hmm. for investors. And I won the sweepstake. I, I'm, I'm a very lucky guy. Clearly, <laughs> and, yes. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm a civil engineer in Brazil. Um, in the past, I, I, I was not uh, focused on space uh, industry, but mm -hmm. I, 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 I was very, very curious about space uh, and uh, about new technologies like uh, SpaceX, mm -hmm. Blue Origin. And I, I, I've decided to invest to come inside like like this in this the new environment like something like mm -hmm. this and mm -hmm. I, I invested on three NFTs to 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 share with with my my, my new friends and investors mm -hmm. from, from the, this community and I won the sub stake and those NFTs so were those you said crypto space agency so this, this might be yeah. interesting for people to know as well that there is such a thing as the crypto space agency but maybe you want to uh, talk a minute uh, what is the crypto space agency and then those NFTs you bought I guess they were in some way space related nfts right some space art or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. they they use uh, the crypto market for uh, for invest on uh, real industries like space industry and uh, mm -hmm. they they see uh, uh, new opportunities in web3 platforms uh, to to win and and profit to invest on it and we have a, a deep uh, synergies between uh, 
platform like Web3 uh, communities and space because we have a, a, a many uh, cu curious people, enthusiasts mm -hmm. like us and yeah. our, our audience. And when you put uh, these people, these people in a, in a big group uh, and and sell uh, NFTs, uh, can you 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 can you can invest the, the profit on real market for a space mm -hmm. industry and mm -hmm. they they are sm very smart guys and see a, a new ten, a, a new a new way to to invest on this this market mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you said it was basically a, a sweepstakes right a um, a contest yeah. was that something that uh, people who bought the nfts they were entered automatically or did you take the decision that okay i want to enter this uh, sweepstakes <laughs> no no I when when I, I bought the, the NFTs, uh, uh, mm -hmm. when you bought or some people bought NFTs uh, by or, or buy in the future NFTs, you you will uh, automatically you per automatically you will per, per, yeah you will participate participate or, or, or on the sweepstake, but you 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 can decide to go or not or not to go to space. Okay, the sweepstake that I. I I participated. They release a ranking for ten people, mm -hmm. and I was the first, the first position. Mm -hmm. If I want, the, if I don't want to go to space, I didn't want to go to space. Uh, the second, uh, the second person would be the the, the, the chance to go to space. Okay, Un understood. But clearly, <laughs> you wanted to go to space. So yeah, when you, yeah when, of course. When you saw when you saw that when you saw that ranking and um and you were the number one and you realized okay I can go to space what how was that moment like when did you find out where were you what what were you thinking Oh man uh, was uh, in a mix of fear and expectation <laughs> uh, uh, it was a dream I was fulfilling something like this because when I I, I saw my name my my uh, my my wallet my number wallet or numbers wallet on Twitter uh, I uh, at first moment I can't just can't believe it and uh, but some uh, few moments later the board of CSA put me on Zoom call and mm -hmm. share with me. Uh, they 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 they're asking me, Victor, uh, are you here hearing us? Uh, yes, okay, uh, dude, you go to fucking space. <laughs> uh, I, I mm -hmm. really can't believe it. But a few moments later, I received the, the first email from from Blue Origin, mm -hmm. and uh, on the subtitle was was uh, your flight to space and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I began to assimilate all things are uh, are happening mm -hmm. with me, but uh, it was a mix of fear and expectations. What were the um? Let's start with the fears. What were the what were the fears? Ah, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure how to explain. I don't know how how to explain. But uh, uh, I, I saw uh, the 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 challenger uh, space shuttle in the mm. past. Uh, we we saw we saw we we saw on, the, on TV. Uh, we have um, we have a, a lot of uh, uncertain uh, it's, yeah. it's correct. Yes, mm -hmm. uncertain uncertain about flight, not only on the rockets, but even. Even on on airplane, no uh, com commercial uh, airplanes, we, we have uh, we have natural fear for altitude, uh, and, and it's no normal for us. And for me, especially, I I don't came, I didn't came from space industry industries, mm -hmm. and I didn't know about nothing uh, to space. I, I, I only thing I I know and I, I knew it was a huge rocket in a real velocity. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah. uh, just it, you know. <laughs> yes, 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 and a lot, a lot of uh, explosion, uh, controlled explosion. Basically, you're sitting on top of a controlled explosion, yes. as always in a chemical rocket. So when um, you went on the, um, I believe NS21 mission, which took place in June this year, how long ago before that, before June, did you find out? That you were going? Yes, it was very, 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 very fast. Uh, I bought an FP uh, in in, uh, in the beginning of May, maybe uh, the first wow. week in May. Okay. Uh, I uh, they released the result of sweepstake um, at f f May 15, something like that, and I I go to Texas at first first moment uh, and 20, 25, something like that. I don't remember exactly mm -hmm. exactly, but. Uh, at the first moment until uh, my, my my flight was 
uh, 45 days, something like this. That it's very, very fast for me, especially. Quick, it's yeah. hard because uh, I, 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 I was, uh, I was learning about something, something new, and I need to to improve my English so fast. And it's not mm -hmm. so good, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, all, all things uh, that's happened uh, was happened very, very, very fast for me. Yeah, yeah. So you found out beginning of May basically that you were going to fly to space sometime in June. So I guess the other question I have for you, so uh, as I think I've told you, I've I've spent a lot of time living in Brazil as well. So I know the culture, I know that, you know, families are very important, very close. Uh, how was it telling your mom and dad about this? <laughs> yeah, I, I called my mom and I, and I said, Mom, uh, I, I have a, a good news for you, uh, but you need to be very strong. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, I'm going to space, uh, but she did not understand at the first moment. Uh, she said to me, uh, you, you will go to the moon? No, Mom, moon was a Three, uh, 300 to 300 uh, thousand kilometers, yeah. kilometers yeah. from 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 here uh, I, I, but but uh, the, 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 the people could be, couldn't couldn't believe it uh, because mm -hmm. I wasn't from the space area nobody expected expected uh, Brazilian to go to space uh, especially mm -hmm. me here in Belo Horizonte civil engineering uh, mm -hmm. and civil engineer uh, but uh, I, I showed some videos of the last blue origin the blue origin mission and mm -hmm. they, they, they got more comfortable and supported me. Yeah, I guess this, um, you, you must be the first Brazilian to go to space since uh, Marcos Ponch is the shuttle astronaut probably, right? Yes, yes. I'm the, the first Steve person to go to space and the second Brazilian to go to space. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to meet um, Marcos Ponches, who was at that time he was a government minister? I just uh, talked with him uh, online like uh, like we, mm -hmm. we, we do now. Uh, because when I we Turned to Brazil after our mission. They they was uh, he was in yeah he was in electoral campaign and very very busy uh, mm -hmm. uh, to to talk uh, person personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I want you to to meet him uh, in the next month maybe. Okay, terrific. Yeah, now he's um he's switching a role from minister to I guess senator. So senator, um, yes, he, right. may, he may have some more time or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you. Well, you had, as you said, basically a little bit over a month between finding out and the flight. What did you do during that month? Like, for example, did you try to research about certain parts of the space flight, the rocket, or other things? Yes, yes. I'm, I take uh, maybe 80% of my time to learn about stu uh, uh, space stuff, suit, uh, microgra microgravity, mm -hmm. and, uh, propulsion of rockets and engines and and uh, different steps because I I didn't I didn't want only to uh, to to go inside of on the rockets to go to space I, I my I, I expected to to feel the the, the real sensation uh, in in the behind the scenes not not only in uh, when we were uh, inside of the rocket and for me uh, I, I it's was necessary to learn uh, so much more about the about uh, space industry and, and, and stuff and stuff like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then when did sort of the formal part start did you just go to for example blue origin as probably many many listeners know launches from a place in, in in western texas called corn ranch did you just go once to texas for the flight or did you have to do any other i don't know tests or something beforehand how was the whole procedure in the lead up to the flight uh, i received my my first a contract is a NDA non closure agreement, mm -hmm. non disclosure agreement, mm -hmm. and, and they they release uh, on, on platforms platforms the 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 crew, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, they they put me on Zoom call every day. <laughs> to to explain me how 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 become an astronaut a commercial mm -hmm. commercial um, uh, astronaut and they they uh, they they explain explain to me uh, the checklist uh, what will be necessary for our mission uh, like mm -hmm. weight and uh, the, the, the 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 space suit and take take my measures and mm -hmm. all of these we we 
we do we did it online mm -hmm. and, and I, I i i'm go and we going uh, me and my wife going to texas uh five five days early uh to to ingress on training center mm -hmm. and and there we, we we can learn about in practice about our mission inside of simulator and spend our time to to simulate different environment and something that can uh, could happen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so wait i have to interrupt you there because um you you mentioned your wife and i actually for some reason i didn't real realize you were married yeah. i only asked about your mom <laughs> what did your wife think okay uh, at first moment uh, uh she could be, couldn't believe like my my parents but i i i, I need to, i had to, to to show show her uh show her The videos of less blue less uh, blue world missions and she got more comfortable and uh, supported me and she came with me uh, to texas western texas and she she stayed uh, with me in, in every time and she she i i, I love her i love her because uh, she she support me she supported me in in, in every time in every situa situation and it was awesome Awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, no, thank you for that. It's closing closing the bracket on your wife. Um, so when you were at Corn Ranch, what what is what is it like there? Sort of like you know, what kind of facilities does it seem like? For example, does it seem like it's like a hotel or something with some training facilities, yeah. or is it more like a military type facility? Or what does it, <laughs> what, what does yeah, it seem, the, seem like when you're there? Yeah, we, we have two separate uh, places there. Over there, we have a, 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 a astronaut village. It seems like a ranch. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with uh with a Air streams uh, similar to uh, the uh, the the streams that uh, astronauts from NASA uh, came to to, to uh, the, the the rockets and we sleep there. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a, a, a bathroom, a live living room, and one specific room with with bed. It's very comfortable, mm -hmm. and we have also a specific house to dinner and make breakfast mm -hmm. breakfast and a uh, car. Carmel Line Bar. It's called Carmel Line Bar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, maybe is the one of the, the the best best place I ever been. It's right. I don't know. Uh, you've ever been? Yeah. Why? Yes. What, what was so special? What was so um, special about uh, Carmel Bar? Like the uh, the ambiance or the drinks or or the fact that you yeah. it's basically only like future astronauts there. <laughs> the ambiance is it's very 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 cool because inside of the the building we have. Uh, a lot of uh, originals newspapers from Apollo uh, Apollo mm. 11 and another missions from Apollo uh, we have more Saturn V uh, on the piano <laughs> also the drinks is, was very cool but uh, all, all of the, the environment of astronaut village is very thematical and uh, mm -hmm. but puts you inside of, of a, a real culture of United States and uh, culture of Texas and uh, And it's a, it's a it's a very 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 comfortable place to be and yeah is maybe how I say how I said before was the the, the best place I ever been uh, no doubt mm -hmm. and then so at at the 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 common facility for dinner and the common bar was it who was there was it basically just the crew or the some other people as well we have the crew uh, mm -hmm. each member of the crew have one airstream um, okay. and we have uh, the whole team of Blue Origin uh, mm -hmm. the, the director Michael Good was with us uh, yeah. and and that uh, in the stuff uh, to 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 help us in uh, mm -hmm. in our our daily schedule because we we woke up uh, uh, take a breakfast uh, and then we go into another part of the, the environment uh, mm -hmm. uh, close to launch site and And there we we spend our entire day to in, inside of the capsule and go into mm -hmm. the, the the rocket and uh, and run in, running the, the the stairs and something like that. Mm -hmm. So this was more of the the formal training. And so what what were some 
what were some of the key activities of the of the formal training? Yeah, it's not a formal training. Many people think it, this is fast, but I need to to point off that it was a suborbital flight, and sure. uh, the mm -hmm. rocket is totally uh, autonomous. Uh, yes, but but the the, the the training was very 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 intense, uh, mostly inside uh, the simulator to pre prepare mm -hmm. us for the most pos uh, possible scenarios. We, we spend a, a lot of time together uh, with uh, with the group group uh, to become uh, great friends. Yeah, and you had um, I mean, I, I guess all of the crews so far are very interesting. But from memory, um, your crew included uh, Katya from from yes. Mexico, right? Yes. And um, Victor Vescovo, who's also an ocean explorer, a very interesting guy. So you you got along well with all of the crew. Everybody got along very well with each other. Yes, yes. We we uh, now now I, I I I can say that we we are friends. We have a group on WhatsApp. We are oh, cool. dating. Uh, you stay in touch. We are, we are dating a, a celebration uh, on, on the beginning of the the, the, the next year uh, because it was uh, for everyone was uh, maybe the the, spe the the best or a special moment in our lives and mm -hmm. see it together uh, was very very special. Uh, this 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 mission uh, br brings uh, it's hard to explain, especially in English for me, but. I, 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 mm -hmm. I love these guys. Uh, they they supported me in every time. Uh, as Brazilian, they celebrate with uh, my conquer to represent Brazil. Also, um, mm -hmm. I, I I really love uh, my crew. It's called mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> natural selection. Yeah, because uh, New Shepherd and us, mm -hmm. we we put our nickname for our, our crew. Uh, it's called uh, natural selection. <laughs> oh, so this is the nickname for you for your crew does um yes. did you also have individual nicknames for each other yes 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 uh each one has a, a, a individual nickname uh evan dix is only dick it's a it's a fun <laughs> fun name <Poor> guy. <laughs> uh, he called uh, astronaut dick but uh, he uh he was in a new shepherd twin uh, a, uh I, I forget the, the mission but we we went before to another mm -hmm. mission from blue Orange. he was the second mm -hmm. time in the rocket okay rocket. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. but he he was astronaut dick uh, i was uh, as astronaut spine my my surname uh mm -hmm. behind me was victor Vis uh, hamish harding uh mm -hmm. he was uh, astronaut harding behind uh, uh, behind hamish was victor vescovo he was astronaut v v, v. <laughs> victor vescovo v, v. v. yeah sure uh, behind victor was katia uh she's called uh astronaut chazareda uh mm -hmm. her surname mm -hmm. and then uh uh, astronaut Valiant Thor <laughs> was was Jason Robinson. It's a fun name. Okay, it's it's a name for your 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 son. Uh, okay, okay, just, understood. Just, <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. And then let's talk about. So you were there for several days before the launch. But so let's talk about the day of the launch. Actually, let's talk about the night the night before the launch. Did did you sleep yeah. well? <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. I, I slept very, very bad. I, I was uh, lying in bed and think, oh my god, tomorrow I'm going to space. Oh my god, tomorrow I'm going to space. It's in every moment, uh, I, I definitely I uh, I can't sleep. And but uh, I'm I'm I was very very excited. In the other hand, uh, we we mm. woke up very early, uh, around 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a simple breakfast, boiled egg and water, just eat. Mm -hmm. uh, and we went to we, we went to training center uh, at long site. Uh, there we had the final briefing. Uh, yeah. when, when we when we came inside of the building, we we had a, a big big uh, countdown. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, it was was very 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 awesome for us. I forgot to ask you. So the the night before, were you guys uh, still? Were you guys allowed, and were you guys drinking at uh, a common bar? Yes, uh, some some people uh, spend your time uh, at night uh, at the bar to, to but uh, they they regulated. Uh, regulated us uh, to not exceed in drinks mm -hmm. or 
uh, even food because we need to to maintain our weight uh, right inside of the rocket and we can't uh, we can't did it something uh, uh something more drinks food etc mm -hmm. uh, but uh for me especially uh, i uh, after finish the, the the dinner i i me and my wife uh stay together only together mm -hmm. spend more time together and call my family in brazil my, my dad mm -hmm. and, and my my mom wasn't in texas uh only mm -hmm. my wife and some friends from csa and mm -hmm. I, I I I was uh, with my wife in, in, the, in the in the close close to the airstream in the desert. Mm -hmm. We put two mm -hmm. chairs and we was we we was uh, looking to the sky from stars and thinking that tomorrow uh, I I will I will I, tomorrow I will mm -hmm. I, how I say I poderia I, I, I to, to, uh, the, the day after you were going to be able to go to the stars, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> so on the day, okay, so you went, you went for the final briefing. And anything memorable they said in the final briefing, or was it just very, you know, business-like uh, things that you would have expected them to say? No, the the final briefing was only to repeat uh, the the the. The key words uh, mm -hmm. for us, but they they give us uh, 30 minutes alone uh, on the, the launch site to mm -hmm. you reflect about your life and make your prayers. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone uh, did something different. Uh, this moment was special for me. I, I went to the, the changing room and uh, over there was my name uh, on the top of the suit. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I sit on, on the front of, of my, my name and I, I just looking for it. And uh, in, in a few moments, I will realize uh, the a special dream for me since I was was child. And mm -hmm. uh, I spent maybe 15 minutes pray, praying, uh, connect to God. This mm -hmm. is, is important for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we, we we came inside of the capsule uh, training together, and we sit in the <laughs> on the, the, the specific uh, seat with our, our names, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we stay together on silence. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. waiting for the the countdown to uh, to to go to the rocket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, by the way, did um, uh, Jeff Bezos show up for your flight? No, unfortunately. <laughs> But I, I met uh, Charlie Duke. It was mm -hmm. very 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 special for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, I, I met a, a guy that uh, that was in the moon on the moon. This is was this was yeah. very very special for me and yeah. Uh, the, uh, it, it, it's it's hard to put it in a balance, but <laughs> uh, Matt uh, Charlie Duke, Duke Duke for me maybe it was best that then I, I met Jeff Bezos. Obviously, I, I, I sure, want to, to, to yeah, yeah want I, I want to to meet Bezos, and, but uh, stay with Charlie Duke for me was a very honor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so then you're in the capsule. Finally, the um, and and how long how long were you in the capsule until the the countdown? Started? started uh 40 minutes okay that's actually not that that's actually not that bad yeah. and then so the countdown started what what were you feeling <laughs> and then and then of the lift the lift off what were you feeling was it sort of what you imagined it to be or was it different how did you oh, feel oh my i when when the countdown was over my 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 life passed in my head like a movie <laughs> <laughs> just just and, in case, just in case. Yes, yes. And uh, at, at first moment was a, a little different about my expectations because the rocket I sent in the, in the first moment was was slowly because uh, inside of the, the booster uh, there is a lot of fuel and uh, and the, the 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 rocket was very very it was very heavy. Uh, but maybe one minute uh, uh, after the the launch. Uh, I after pass for max Q, uh, mm. the, the, the the rocket gained a lot of velocity and acceleration, yeah. mm. and the the, the G forces it's very very strong in the, in the chest and mm. gradually increases. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, When and when we we arrived in the uh, at the apogee, uh, to mm -hmm. feel the, the sensation of microgravity was the maybe the, the most incredible thing in in my life. It's it's mm -hmm. uh, 
felt uh, a, a light and a sensation of leaving my body uh, while yeah. I, I, I look in at the window uh, with the, the most un unforgettable view. Uh, I just, uh, how I, I said before, I just uh, thank God for a such privilege. And the microgravity, so it sounds like this was your first time in microgravity, like you hadn't done like a zero, like, you know, these zero G parabolic uh, flights on the aircraft or anything like this before. And it yes. wasn't part of the training either, right? Like you, you guys didn't do this as part of the training. The mm. Yes, we, we, didn't, okay. we didn't have it on the train. Did, so, but did everybody sort of, did everybody know how to behave in microgravity? Because it's a little bit different, right? So people, if you don't, if you don't pay attention, right, you could like bump into each other or into the wall or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it, yeah, it was, when, when it was fine. First, uh, maybe first 30 seconds uh, of microgravity uh, was strange for me because when I, I put my feet on the ground, ground in the capsule, <laughs> uh, mm. only to put, only, only putting my feet on the on the the, on the, the, the floor of the capsule, I, I I was projected to the top of the capsule, and when wow. when I, well, I put my hands <laughs> on the top, <laughs> I come back to to the floor. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I take a, a few seconds to assimilate it and to 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 be more gentle on my touch uh, <laughs> in, in every part of the capsule. Did they actually, as part of the training, did did they uh, tell you guys what to do if somebody you know got nauseous, sick, and had to throw yes, up in yes. the microgravity? <laughs> yes, it, we we put on a paper together our plans and we spend maybe one, one hour inside of the simulator to mm. connect our ideas uh, because for example I, I, I my dream was make a, a backflip <laughs> okay on, 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 on microgravity but mm -hmm. if I if I do it uh, maybe uh, it, it, it's dangerous to to put my feet on on the face of uh, another person somebody of the else crew. yeah yes yeah, on somebody else it, it, it's it's an, it's an, uh because of because of that we yes we spend this time together to to mm -hmm. to share the, the the specific areas and mm -hmm. and and analyze our synergies <laughs> and back okay. something or, or, like or, con or conflicts yes <laughs> yes or conflicts yes exactly so so you so so you wanted to did, did you end up doing a backflip sorry did you do the backflip yes yes uh, i have i okay. have the, the the video on my the video. instagram okay. <laughs> the, this video the, after the mission uh make a viral video on the you know, internet <laughs> did um did uh, any of the other crew members also do you know similar funny things yes yes we take with us uh, a little balls and cards and i i, I mm. take with me uh, a little card it's a little card uh, uh rep represent representing my nft <laughs> mm -hmm. and we 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 play the ball and upside some down. people was upside down but the the, mm -hmm. the the main the main advice that we receive is, is to look at the window is not to 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 mm. test the, the sensation of microgravity but sure because that's that makes sense right because if you just want a microgravity you can go on the plane and it's a lot cheaper <laughs> yeah but but it's different because uh uh some some people in the crew uh was Testing the microgravity's uh, sensation in the parabolic flights uh, mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. but they told me there is very, uh, totally different, especially for the time that you spend in microgravity on the the rocket uh, mm -hmm. compared to to parabolic flights. Uh, I'm not sure, but when you when you did parabolic flight you spend you spend uh, micro uh, you, you stay in microgravity for a 12 seconds something like that yeah, like, yeah 15 right. 20 seconds i think yeah mm. yeah and and we will stay and we we will stay uh in microgravity for four and four minutes and yeah, this is sure. a huge time mm. for for yeah, each one doing things yeah Yes. Mm, okay. And so, but but you mentioned the probably more important, or definitely more important, is the part of looking out of the window. So so how was that? How was it seeing Earth from space the first time? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a, it's a good question. Uh, I, I think what uh, struck me most in beside beside the curvature, uh, it's how complex and wonderful is our planet uh, seeing the thin layer of the uh, of the of oxygen in the atmosphere mm. uh, 
all I could think about was the, the, the privilege of enjoy, enjoy, enjoying it from a special mm -hmm. view. Because uh, one thing, it, it's it's you you're seeing for from a computer or a TV, but when you see it from a view uh, a window and a, a large window like a new new shepherd new shepherd's rock, rocket, this is very mm -hmm. special. I, I compare to when you go to a stadium uh, to to watch mm -hmm. uh, football football mm -hmm. or soccer soccer play a soccer uh, match it's totally different uh, compared to watching on TV, it's, TV. A, it's, a, mm. it's a different uh, exper exper experience and mm -hmm. see it was very very special for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so any other sort of very memorable moments stories of the flight you would like to point out uh, I, I i think it the, the 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 best moment really was uh when i was seeing the view from window because uh, this 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 experience for me uh have also a, 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 a spiritual feeling you know mm. because uh when i see the, the earth above uh, from above uh for me it, it Uh, the, the the meaning of it of of, of this is, is something like uh, uh, we 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 are concerned here on on the earth right we we are concerned about uh, small problems yeah. while we have uh, 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 a uni a universe so literally of opportunities to explore and sometimes we 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 spend a, a much much time to in, in small conflicts with our families mm -hmm. and in our jobs while we have a lot of opp opportunity to explore and uh, mm -hmm. and so so this view this view from window uh in fact uh, moved me to 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 connect with the ideas and the spiritual ways to to see the life you know mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense and it's sort of connected to what I guess would be called the overview effect that many people that went to space experience. But it, when, you, when you were up there, I assume there was no um, communication with the ground other than sort of um, the Blue Origin ground control, maybe, right? It's not like, you yeah. know, you had a way of calling your family or something like that, right? <laughs> no, no, we, we have a radio uh, to connect with mm -hmm. uh, Blue Control. And we have mm -hmm. also a uh, um, small dashboard to, uh, with mm -hmm. the highlights to to mm -hmm. to our uh, to, to, to conduct our, our actions. Uh, mm -hmm. And we, we, we can talk with only with the, the, the Blue Control. Not we with, with our, mm -hmm. our family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. Okay, and then how was how was the um the sand? The sand was <laughs> was terrible because uh we, we are falling in the sky mm -hmm. uh and uh, in, in a higher velocity and how how did the capsule are flat uh, under the flat are flat the, mm -hmm. the uh, friction uh over the capsule is shaking uh a lot of our, our capsule and mm -hmm. the, the G forces also is very high. Uh, mm -hmm. We stay for 5G in descent, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it's uh, it's a strange because you you waiting uh, with expectation to our parachutes it, uh, open uh, mm -hmm. to to open our, par our parachutes, uh, and so the the, the, the parachutes open early that we expected, uh, and we 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 stay very very happy when this happened and yeah that's that's when you knew you were safe <laughs> yeah 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 and on the video i i say say it. oh my god thanks god it's, I, i think it's working working perfectly <laughs> and thanks god for it and when when the the, the capsule touch the, the ground finally mm -hmm. uh it's a gentle gentle touch when when the people saw the videos uh asking uh, they asking me if uh, uh, uh traumatic touch down but it's not it's not tr uh, so traumatic because mm -hmm. uh over the capsule we they, they have a, a propulsion of air to okay. to make to, to make uh, mm -hmm. more the the, 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 the touch down more soft mm -hmm. and okay The, the capsule touched the touchdown the ground touched the ground and uh, the the blue control calling us 
from uh, from radio and congratulate us uh, to finally become an astronaut because we we we, mm -hmm. we blast for camel line it's a mm -hmm. a, a, a hundred kilometers from 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 the earth and yeah, yeah we we sat, celebrating a lot hug each other <laughs> and stay and stay inside of the capsule maybe for 10 minutes to wait yeah. for stuff and in the, the the while we we were, were waiting we we tried to assimilate what had happened and mm -hmm. yeah it was very special for us and then when when the staff arrives um i guess in cars or a bus or something is it just the staff or is like was your wife there as well like the family members um, and what do you do do you go out and like have a drink or <laughs> what happens <laughs> at first at first moment was the uh, only the, the staff uh, blue orange staff uh, it's arrived mm -hmm. was arrived but a uh, few moments later our families stay together uh, uh, especially my wife only my wife and the, the, the another partners of the, mm -hmm. the, the crew uh, and, but when they open the, the door of the capsule I return to to, <laughs> to collect my 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 wife's photo that I forget mm. <laughs> on the sea. Yes, yes. Uh, I, yeah. I forgot, forgot, right? I forgot yeah. on the mm -hmm. in the seat, and and then we leave the the, the, the capsule, and we just uh, celebrating a lot. Mm. I, I I felt a little nauseous because the the, the variation of the G forces are very high, very mm. very higher mm -hmm. in the short mm -hmm. short time. But uh, I. I I'm I'm stay for in, in, in this feeling for maybe five ten minutes, but after mm -hmm. after this we celebrate a lot. We open a champagne uh, and then we we take uh, took a lot of uh, uh, photos with the Brazil mm -hmm. flag, and I I, mm -hmm. I dressed the the Brazil flag because. Uh, Yeah. This, this for me, uh, the, uh, represent my country, uh, was very, very special for me because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we, we hadn't, uh, we hadn't a, a, a special program, uh, a good special program in Brazil. And uh, some people uh, dream to become an astronaut. Some people dream to, to work on the space indus industries. Uh, but it's, it's so far for, from from us mm -hmm. from us uh, in, in the, uh, it's so far from from us that uh, for me especially I, I I represent a dream of million of uh, of Brazilians and mm -hmm. take the to take the, the flag and basing me with the flag was very special for me mm -hmm. and I hope mm -hmm. that's uh, uh, a lot of Brazilians uh, have the, the, the opportunity, opportunity that I have or better opportunities to, to go to space. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I expect that in the next years, the, this, this, uh, the space program will be more accessible for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. expect to really uh, this experience for everyone in Brazil. Yeah. No, I, ho I hope so. I hope so too, and I hope that even if people decide not that they don't want to go to space, that you know it could also help to inspire you know some kids to study about space and study engineering and and so forth. Yes, so it, it hopefully yes. will have a very positive effect. And and there are some you know very good engineers um, in Brazil, some very good engineering schools. Yes. And of course we have to we have the launch site actually while we while we speak. You know, um, hopefully in the next few days there's going to be the first um, launch rocket launch from. The Brazilian uh, Space Launch Center at Alcantara in a long time of a Korean suborbital rocket. So fingers crossed that you know there's going to be a lot more development in Brazilian space program too. Mm -hmm. But one more question about the flight. So and you partly answered it already. I was going to ask you whether you brought along any special items. So I already know that you brought the NFT card and you brought a picture of your wife. Um, anything else? Yeah, yeah. I, I brought the the the, the pic more, well, one picture of my wife, uh, my my parents, my family, uh, my dog. <laughs> uh, I brought yeah. brought the, also the the. The shirt of my my team in Brazil, Cruzeiro. <laughs> uh, okay, yes. <laughs> what more? Brazil flag uh, and, and and small stuff that rep represent me. I'm I'm a I'm a curious musician. I'm I love technologies. I love uh, I love to uh, optimize my life in different mm -hmm. different with different tools and so i i, I brought uh, uh small small tools like uh, that rep represent me i 
this engineer uh, mm -hmm. what more uh, small patches from mm -hmm. my 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 childhood child childhood um yeah mm -hmm. something uh, personal stuff that represent me in um, every every moment until now of my life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very well and then after the flight um what was sort of the aftermath was there sort of like a final did you guys stay another night was there like a final maybe like a farewell dinner of the crew or like a party or something like that yeah yeah we 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 we, we had a a, a texas a texas barbecue party nice <laughs> country mm -hmm. like a country party with mm -hmm. with the best barbecue maybe i ever <laughs> I ever uh, eat uh, yes. and uh, and then we we, we receive a, 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 some gifts like a, a, a boots from, from uh, it's, it's a, tra a tradition for for, for Jeff Bezos and mm -hmm. a special boot we receive a pin for for astronaut mm -hmm. uh, we 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 had a, a small ceremony ceremony with the astronaut from, from some astronauts from uh, from blue blue that worked it worked mm -hmm. on in, in the past on, on NASA mm -hmm. And then uh, we relaxed, <laughs> relaxed a little. I sleep uh, a little also because mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 how I said before, I can't sleep on the last night. Mm -hmm. And the next day uh, I come back to Brazil, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I do, I, I do not stop to thinking every day about this experience. And yeah, uh, maybe it was the the one of the best moments of my life, no doubt. Mm, I imagine. How was it coming back to Brazil? Did you get a lot of like media attention from TV channels or newspapers? There's some big local podcasts, of course, in Brazil, in Brazil as well. Yes, I, I had more than uh, 2,000 mentions on media here mm. in Brazil. Uh, the, the, the main uh, the, the, the main newspapers, uh, TV shows, uh, TV Global in Brazil, so the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the main uh, media here. Uh, I, I was in 15 podcasts. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I, had, I, I, I went a, a lot of followers on my, my Instagram account. Yeah, I imagine. And I tried to, to influence, uh, especially children uh, in this, this yep. dream. Uh, to 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 not only dream to become an astronaut or something like that, but uh, to study, uh, to ingress mm -hmm. in, in uh, STEM schools uh, and develop our careers and trying to 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 see the future and the promiser future on space industry because mm -hmm. uh, we we have a, a lot of expectations. You know so much more than me about the, the, the space space industries and uh, my 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 exper experimental flights represents a lot for for the future uh, Jeff Bezos only go to space in the last year and then more than more more than uh, 15 more, more than 30 people I don't know 15 people mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. going to space only for for blue origin and we have a, a good scenario for for future in the space industry and I try to connect with the children and and and, and every every followers that I have to explain mm -hmm. this way, explain the, the 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 future that we see in this in this area. No, this is great. And thank you for doing that. I think that's that's super important. And you know, especially in a country like Brazil, like you know, it's 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 really good to have something inspiring like that. You know, which inspires people to stay in school to again to learn about uh, space rockets engineering and so yeah. forth so it's it's important and i hope you know there's going to be more people and uh, to spread that yeah spread that message yeah i have a lot of, of limitations uh, technical limitations but uh we we uh, all all that i have in my hands uh, actually uh, the popularity of curiosity of people i will uh, transform it in uh, opportunities uh, from different kind of people no doubt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, by the way, um, I don't know if you know, there's, um, I'm an alumnus of the um, International Space University and 
And they will actually, they have a summer program, space studies program every year somewhere else in the world. And it's going to be in San Jose dos Campos next year at uh, ITA. Uh, Brazilians will know, but for non-Brazilian listeners, this is, a, you know, it's probably the best university in Brazil. It's the uh, Aeronautical Technical Institute. And so people from around the world will come to Brazil to study about space. And who knows, maybe we can invite you and you come by one day and uh, give a lecture. But we can talk about this. Yeah, uh, yeah, afterwards. yeah. It will be a pleasure for me. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely talk about that. So what's happening now? So your life has obviously changed. Uh, is, do you think space is going to continue to be a part of your life going forward? Yes, 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 of course. Um, forever, maybe. Because uh, this, uh, how I said before, this view changed in my life uh, totally. And uh, in next steps of my career and my life, I really want to uh, to show, the, how I said before, also the way the, fu- the way for future for, for the people, for the, the, the people here in Brazil. I want mm-hmm. to, uh, we, uh, I'm working together with the SA as ambassador uh, mm-hmm. to 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 connect the, the, the projects the future projects of CSA uh, here in Brazil and to translate not not uh, lit- literally but translate the, the main idea for popular people here because mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a, a small group uh, that knows really about space and knows mm-hmm. about uh, about uh, science stuffs uh, here in Brazil, and we have a huge number to know nothing about science and space. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had the, the opportunity to to develop original content and on my Instagram, YouTube channel, mm-hmm. uh, and podcasts like you, and I, I developed also a, a original podcast to. to Mm-hmm. Uh, explain for my audience good projects connect uh, all of these projects to popular people here in Brazil mm-hmm. uh, and the the, the 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 first first weekend for example uh, first week sorry uh, for example here in Brazil I will uh, in the in the th- south of, of Brazil to uh, participate of, of uh, planetary with uh, some people and connect with kids or with children mm-hmm. and this is a, a, a a purpose for me from from the future and i am very excited to inspire people uh in every place i i will i will be terrific so whichever way you know i can help you with that um given that you know i have one foot in brazil as well let, let me know and it's it you know it's, it's great that you're doing that yeah so yeah. Vic, victor it's um you know uh, we've gone on for a long time already and thank you for sharing all your stories from the mission with us so let me just close by ask by asking so if you had the chance would you would you do it again and and then yes. if you have the chance and you know, hopefully um, this was suborbital, but there's also more and more hopefully opportunities to go uh, orbital flights and then maybe a little bit further in the future, even to the moon, would you would you be doing all of that as well? Yes, 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 yes. I really want to go to, to do it again. Uh, I, maybe it will be my, my main challenge for, for my whole life in the future to, to, to come uh, to, to back to uh, back on the, the rocket and mm-hmm. and feel the sensation again i will really want to do it again understood victor again thank you so much for being on the podcast and and sharing all of sharing your experience in detail i think this is very interesting for lots of our listeners to really hear, hear in detail about all of the steps so it's, I mean, it sounds like an absolutely amazing experience and <laughs> you certainly made me envious as well so i think you have the goal to get back on the rocket i have the goal now to get on the rocket for the first time and uh, maybe <laughs> we'll fly together at some flight in the future again thank you so much for for being here so I, I really want to thank you uh, because uh, it's an opportunity to connect and uh, by the way it's, it's a pleasure for me and I, I i really want to say sorry about my, my english is not it's not the suffic- it's not a problem but <laughs> i'm improving each day I, I need to 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 improve the, the the language to connect better with with people i understand everything you say and I, 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 but sometimes i i lost the, the words in my mind and i i'm improving it so sorry about that's that's that. actually you know what that makes it even more special that you're here because um you know it is a little bit more of a challenge for you so that makes it even more special that you decided to spend the time despite the challenges with us and your english is actually quite good and i'm sure it's going to keep improving it's let me say it's <laughs> languages are not are not rocket science <laughs> you'll learn them yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. so again thank you victor thank you 
And that's a wrap for another nominal episode of the Space Business Podcast. Once more, if you enjoyed this, please leave us a five-star rating on your favorite podcast platform, such as Apple or Spotify. You can follow us on Twitter at podcast underscore space. You can support us at www.patreon.com forward slash space business podcast. Lastly, if you have any feedback, including ideas for guests, and that may include yourself if you have an interesting space story to tell, or interested in being a sponsor, drop us an email at spacebusinesspodcast at gmail.com. See you for the next episode.